This SciShow video is supported by Shopify, an e-commerce platform that helps you start, grow, and manage your business. Head to shopify.com slash scishowspace to learn more and for a 14-day free trial. When you look up at stars in the night sky, what you're really looking at is the past, because the distances are so vast. Light, the fastest thing in the universe, can take years to reach your eyes. So the further away something is, the further in the past you're seeing it. With just your eyes, you might be able to see a star as it was a few thousand years ago. But with sophisticated telescopes, we can see millions and even billions of years into the past. We can see the earliest galaxies and compare them to ours, and ask how our own Milky Way is likely to evolve. And one of the people who has enabled us to see so far is Dr. Jane Rigby. Dr. Rigby's work has touched basically any famous telescope you care to name. Hubble, Spitzer, Chandra, Herschel, New Star, Keck, Magellan, and now Webb. As a project scientist for operations on the James Webb Space Telescope, she's instrumental in figuring out how to best use the amazing capabilities of this incredible observatory. Part of her research is focused on one of the great mysteries in astronomy, understanding why galaxies stop making stars. A relatively young galaxy like ours will make a new star every year or so. It's tough work, needing a lot of gas and dust to be in the right place at the right time. But in order for there to be the trillions of stars that we know there are, one per year per galaxy just wouldn't cut it. So maybe galaxies in the past formed more stars quicker. The only problem is, to see further in the past more accurately, we need stronger telescopes. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. If you're watching this channel, we probably do not need to tell you about the hype surrounding this thing that is now finally up in space, ready to start observing the universe from its shady perch behind the moon. One of the first Webb Telescope projects to get started is called Templates. That is short for targeting extremely magnified panchromatic lensed arcs and their extended star formation, in case you were wondering. This project, led by Dr. Rigby, will use gravitational lensing to extend the view of Webb and see even further into the past. You see, massive objects like clusters of galaxies in between us and and distant objects bend space-time like a lens. That magnifies the stuff behind it and lets us see it with higher resolution. With templates, Rigby and her team will find out where in galaxies stars are forming, and if galaxies fill with stars inside out or outside in. The team picked four galaxies that are all making stars very quickly, but which have a mix of other properties. For example, two are filled with a lot of dust, and the other two are mostly dust-free. Dust usually makes a galaxy hard to study by obscuring visible light and muddying the picture. But the ultra-sensitive web, with its suite of state-of-the-art filters, will be able to dig deep into the hearts of these galaxies and reveal what's going on. The idea is to start with projects like templates that test out the equipment while giving valuable scientific results at the same time. Kind of like warming up before a race by mowing the lawn. You get warmed up, and your lawn gets mowed. The results will give us clues about how we ended up in a galaxy that forms stars so slowly, and about the mechanisms that make galaxies galaxies stop forming stars. Templates will build on earlier work from Dr. Rigby, where she was part of a team that used images from the Hubble Space Telescope to find out if the shape of a galaxy affected its star formation. In that work, they found that yes, shape does matter. They saw that galaxies with big bulges in the middle tend to form stars more slowly than galaxies where most of the mass was in the disk. These are only some of the highlights of the storied career that landed Dr. Rigby a spot on the panel that helps decide NASA's scientific priorities, which which is no small honor. When she's not uncovering the secrets of the stars, Dr. Rigby is also a passionate advocate for LGBTQ plus people in astronomy. In 2022, she was recognized as the LGBTQ plus scientist of the year by Out to Innovate, a professional organization for LGBTQ plus scientists. In an interview with the American Astronomical Society, Dr. Rigby talked about how being queer has made her a better astronomer. In part, she puts that down to her experience as an outsider. She says, quote, I think about science in terms of community building. What team do we need to tackle a given science problem with skills that are different from mine. She adds, I think that way because I'm an outsider, because I've been marginalized, and because community building is central to LGBTQ culture. Her number one lesson for aspiring young astronomers? Do fabulous science, be fabulous, and be proud. You are the lady. Get out there and do fabulous science. Dr. Rigby is changing the game as an LGBTQ plus advocate at NASA. It's so awesome that NASA is recognizing their diverse workforce, because representation matters. And to promote even more representation, Shopify is proud to partner with organizations that help entrepreneurs from underrepresented communities succeed. Shopify is an e-commerce platform that's here for your business at every step of the way, from start 
through growth. They're committed to breaking down barriers, whether they're income barriers that Shopify busts through with affordable product fulfillment, or institutional knowledge barriers that Shopify launches over with their business encyclopedia. Shopify will give you the resources that big businesses get, so you can play in the same arena even as a small business. I have started, grown, and managed a sock company, a coffee company, and a company for other creators, socks and coffee and etc. through Shopify. We started that company over 10 years ago. Shopify has been with us from two partners making this thing work together all the way through 50 employees. To check out Shopify, head to shopify.com slash scishowspace. If you use our link, you'll get a 14-day free trial. Thanks to Shopify for supporting this SciShow Space video, and thank you for watching.